What's up, football heads? Today we're going to be talking about Kyle Pitts. Too fast for deep backs and corners and too strong for linebackers underneath. He's basically a different position now. Like you have a satellite back, this guy's basically an X-verse. So we're going to talk today about how he, he basically runs routes like a receiver. See right here, he puts his right foot down and cuts sharply. I love the way he runs his routes. He has the deep back flat-footed right there. Right here creates enough separation outside to get out there and catch the football. Um, there's a lot of underthrown passes by Trask in this that he makes up for, though. Then, boom, right around the guy right there to the edge. Give himself a little bit of yak yards as well. Um, he has a basketball background and a wide receiver background, and it shows. Right here, he slow plays DB. the receiver, gives him a quick couple steps to the outside, and then, boom, right across his face, back inside slant. Excellent. Creates a little bit of yak yards right there. Catches the ball right across the middle. He's a hands catcher as well, not a body catcher. Right there, he puts himself in position with yak yards again and shields his body off from the defender from an um, underthrown football. See, this is what I was talking about. How he, that's why I got the arrow there. He puts his left foot down and cuts sharp across on his out. You can see the angle, which is hips drop into his break and then explodes out of it. As you can see right here, he will explode out to the uh, sideline after he gets a, a release. Again, like I said, he drops his hips real nice here and gets outside. Like I said, he puts his foot down, that left foot puts down, cuts out across. See Pitts sink his hips like a wide receiver into his break and explode out of it. Like I was saying, you can see the angle right there of his body. And the deep back gives him a lot of separation too because he has to respect his speed. So it allows Pitts to set him up even better. You can see his eyes looking back for the football here. He's pretty good a blocker. He's good in line right here. He fakes and sells it inside that he's going to block and then does a nice drag underneath the route to his left as the arrow shows. With his speed across the field, and as you can see, the black uh, lines indicate the defenders going to his right. He'll beat them easily across the field before the outside defender realizes what happened. Now that's what I call separation. All those yellow defenders are beat. He creates a lot of um, separation with his feet and his speed. Right here, he always does a good job of going into scramble mode first. He was a crosser, but he cuts it back across outside to the sideline. And his quarterback is scrambling, and he finds him wide open again. Or they designed it that way to be a little jerk route or whatever you want to call it. Digging in the trenches. Pitts came in motion Jake from the PM. left to the right here, Scott but with down. a little pause, he sells the block fake was solid. So he gives him a little fake block inside and then he's gonna go to the flat. When he plants his foot sharp, he plants and cuts sharp is what I like about him. Like a receiver, he'll slow play him too. Right here, you can see the defender needed to go with Pitts into the green arrow, um, but decided to sink down to Trask and he was beat. Boom, he's gonna turn right around to his left and run in for a touchdown. It's gonna be an easy score. On this route, he's actually played up top, which would be the, I think the outside position, X probably, and sells the comeback, but then turns it into a slant going back across the field. Right here's the next steal, shows he's got enough separation um, and he'll catch the ball with his hands cleanly across the middle right there's the catch point he doesn't need much separation as well which he does get a lot of separation but he doesn't need it you can throw it to his back shoulder or just anywhere near him he'll pretty much get it right here he does a good job again of coming back to his receipt or excuse me his quarterback but the ball is severely underthrown it needed to go to the yellow but it goes to the green and he does a good job of coming back to the football and catching it Pitts takes his man here and boxes him out from the inside out, not allowing him to get to the outside pylon side of the end zone. Pitts' hips are facing the far sideline. His hips flip, flips his hips to face the near sideline and just mid-route like a wide receiver to catch touchdown. 
So he boxes them out like a, like a basketball player would. That's his basketball background coming in right here. Pitch is almost fully pivoted here. You can see, and then I'll show you the all 22 on this next clip. Ball's coming in, his eyes are looking at it. He's got separation and he's already walled himself off from the defender. <clears throat> Excuse me, good job. On this play, you've got the defender sinking in. As soon as he splits the two in the middle, the two black circles in the middle, he's got all that open field to the yellow to the right. It's all open. And as soon as he does that, uh, Trask right now, you can see the quarterback to the left is the red circles throwing the ball now into the open space. Right here, you can see the red arrow to the, to the top, the receiver holding his hands up. He knows it's a touchdown. Pitts is eyeing up the ball right now and has separation. And he has to slow down again from an underthrown pass due to an underthrown pass from Trask, but he, once he gets his hands on it, he knows what to do with it. With that 4-4 speed and with separation, he's gone. If you ever allow him in the middle of the field like that, it's gonna be a touchdown. Here he does a good job of getting uh, a good block in on the end and then getting a release to go into the flat. Like I said right here, he's got good, right there his technique looks good on the blocking. He's low, knees bent, both arms out and then gets a good release. In fact, the deep bat or the end is actually face down the other way, look. So he kind of like dipped and ripped the end of the ground and then got a free release for Trask. Right here, he catches the ball, obviously. He just gets a first down. It was on third down. Um, like we have the position for the, right, the running backs that are elusive, like a scat back. Um, this guy's more like a, an elusive guy. He's an X-verse. He, has, gives, he gives him a little shake and bake here right across the field and sells the cross. He kind of gives him a hesitation shake with his left across that he's going to sell the cross, but then goes right around the, the um, defender. This ends up being a nice high-pointed catch for him. I mean, you can see the defenders facing the back of the end zone, and it's basically him in the black circle to the left. And we both know who's going to win. Right on. Thanks for tuning in. As always, deuces.